felon running for Austin City Council will be on the November ballot. Today's decision comes after the city clerk warned Lewis Conway Jr. he might be ineligible to run last week. KXAN's Alyssa Gord breaks down what happened and what challenges this candidate could face in the months to come. Since Lewis Conway Jr. began his campaign for the District 1 seat, people have asked whether his conviction of voluntary manslaughter more than two decades ago would disqualify him. And I'm excited about both sides of the aisle, understanding the importance of folks like me being able to end our sentence. Conway said if he knew running for office would mean challenging a state law, he probably wouldn't have done it. But now he thinks his campaign matters for the millions of Texans barred from running for office because of their criminal history. And if you're able to give me a chance, and that makes it easier for somebody that may not be um, as palatable. After Austin City Clerk reviewed papers from Conway that show he's completed his sentence, the city said they will not reject his application to appear on the ballot. But the Texas Secretary of State's office says a convicted felon needs a pardon or a judicial release to be eligible to run for office. Conway will likely have to address these state rules down the road. But as far as he's aware now, his campaign is full steam ahead. You're running. I'm running. Um, I'm on the ballot. Uh, Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The Texas Secretary of State's office telling us it has no enforcement authority in this case, but Conway may have to do more to prove he's fulfilled his obligations with the criminal justice system. Going forward, the mayor, the district attorney's office, or another candidate could all mount a legal challenge to Conway's candidacy.